Welcome back to another video guys. I can't tell you how much I appreciate all of you for the support in the recent videos and I really hope that you guys enjoyed the base. Make sure to consider subscribing if you haven't already. It helps me out a lot. This is the Polar. Here is the upkeep and cost for the base. In full sheet metal across 6 TCs. Starting off our base tour at one of our 6 external TCs. We can find our battery and our upkeep. This is spread across six external TCs. Here is our Mr. Man disconnectable. Place a foundation here and a roof triangle there. This will disconnect the TC. Then replace these two triangles. Coming into our gatehouse, we have our drop boxes and a variety of peaks. Going out, we have our auto turrets, plus probably plenty of room for furnaces. Heading over to our funnel wall, here is the door that blocks the entrance, and when going in, you can find several traps, including shotgun traps and flame turrets. Here we have more shotgun traps and great peaks into the funnel and back at base. Here we have a nice little place for an oil refinery. Coming over to our bedrooms, we can find patricle peaks into our funnel wall. and great peaks out at our gatehouses. Plus a turret covering all of it. Over here, we have our bedrooms. Coming into our airlock, we have two shop fronts on either side, giving great vision into our funnel wall. Going into our shell, we have some breach peaks out into our compound, and a turret. Over here, we have our drop boxes, and our jump lock. Here is one of three, two bedroom with two boxes. Here are respawns for about half of your team. Here is our starter unit with plenty of storage, bags, a tier three, a tier two, repair bench, and any other things that you may need. This is the upkeep for the main part of the base. Keep in mind that this is fully sheet metal without barely any stone or HQM. It also includes almost all deployables you could possibly have. Tons and tons of garage doors. Moving up onto our open core, we have Dropbox loo rooms and plenty of ankle biter peaks. Jumping up. We get tons of room for box storage all around the open core. Here we have unbreakable turrets behind these ramps covering all around the open core, plus the three surrounding the open core. Up here we have 6 vending machines plus our tier 3. Heading over to our jump up we have a repair bench or you can put any other deployable that you want here. Down here we go back to our battery and then back up the jump up.
here we have our early game shooting floor with great peaks down into the base. Here we have our bedrooms with one box right here and two bedrooms each. It also has this auto turret that covers down through the ramp into our open core. This is our cooking slash crafting core where we can cook all of our stuff in the mixing tables and run furnaces. This is also a collapsible open core and by deleting these wooden frames it collapses and gives you lots of great peaks down into the open core in the event of a raid. Heading up into our shooting floor bedrooms. You also have batteries on the sides, plus there should be boxes right here. You can find extra locker kits, plus um, beds which have a total of 12, so you have room for 12 teammates on this floor. Heading up into our crouch meta shooting floor, you can find wide gaps, ramp peaks, roof triangle peaks, and much more. Heading up onto roof, we have a total of 9 turrets covering the entirety of it, and we have lots more peaks out of the compound. Here is tons of free space for you to put anything that you would like on the roof, and we have 6 windmills. That is it for the base tour, now let's get into the build. Starting off our base build, make sure you get a foundation very low to the ground. Start off with the Just like so. Then, Except for one triangle. Come over here, place a low a low one, and then a then root one. Now place editing Six-sided. 
sided and three sided symmetry during the video. So start off using three sided, go to the front. Go to your entrance, then go to the left, place the triangles. Um, three half walls. Then place the windows. Triangle here, and then three half triangles on top. Now come over here. The front. Disclaimer, make sure to add your shop points. Before you place your roof triangle, so you're unable to place them. Come over here. Moving on to the next stage, you're going to want to get your external stuff. So, go to the three triangles right here. Place three foundations. And then go to the like this. I'm going to turn on six-sided symmetry. Now, place a square and a circle. And a square here. And a that, and a that. Next, come over here.
lots of extra room. Make sure to go in a little bit to make it easier. Place some barricades and place your first round. It should look something like this, pretty even, like this. It doesn't matter too much as you can fix it very easily. Next is another one. So and then bring it in. That should be your compound. Now get your barricades up. Your compound. Now let's work on our front. Moving on to the next stage, we're going to go forward. First, come to one of our three jump ups. Add half wall and step, bend wall. This is bad in here. Now, we're going to go to the tree. I'm going to go back to your side of the tree. Shores, so this down. Furnaces inside these little spots. 
on all places where ramps are, place a window. Floor will be. your shooting floor. Go to the jump up.
to G4, place two halves right here, and then
Thank you guys for watching the video. If you made it this far, please do consider subscribing if you haven't already. I would really appreciate it. I hope you guys enjoyed. See ya.